Okay, so I'm going to look at one of my favorite things to do with um, well, ChatGPT, Copilot, all of those. And we're going to use Copilot for this today. So what I want to do is to go from getting some ideas for a project for, in this case, MSc students to hopefully build up a start, and it is just a start, of a project proposal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get it to take a particular topic, leveraging open source tools to measure and, and present academic publications automatically from public domain data and it will cope with spelling mistakes. There is a spelling mistake in there. I'm going to ask it to give five innovative projects for a master's level student dissertation in data intelligence. So I'm specifying who this is for, who needs this, what level we're setting up, and then ask it for each project example will contain a subheading and content for title, introduction, and problem statement. So it's going to hopefully give me some titles, it's going to give me some introductory material, and it's going to say what the kind of thing this project is going to be about. I want five of those. So it's producing five for me. And to be honest, they're quite interesting topics. So, yeah, automated citation network analysis. Um, it's giving me a little bit of detail about it. And then what's this task about, if you like, the aim? And predicting research impact. All of these are actually very interesting topics that um, I actually wouldn't mind working on myself if I with time. Okay. So we've got five topics. I think they're five quite good topics. And I think, okay, we can take, let's take one of them. And we can think about how we can expand that a little bit more. So it produced the problem statement, it produced um, Some things that we can, you know, it, a, a bit of introduction. Uh, produce, and we got some nice project interest ideas. So let's say I'm going to look at that last one. But it could be any of these. So I'm going to put in. Oops, wrong one. Let's let's not copy that again. Let's get it to expand project five. And then we're going to get it to do a little bit more. We're going to get it to, for this project, include following subheading subheadings a 
that are in capitals. So we, we like I did before with the introduction and so on. And content, the subheadings. Let's do a real experiment. So the subheadings will be followed by the word count for the content. So subheadings and word count are so let's put introduction. Followed by, oh, let's, let's actually let's put title first. Title, oops, title. And it's going to be a, it's going to be 50 words. And then we can have a 250 introduction. Problem statement Let's give that a hundred words Methods Let's give that another hundred words and then reference list ah let's call it 250 Let's, instead of saying just the word count, we're going to say it's the maximum word count. Okay. May, may not work. Let's find out. So you can refine this for whatever you wanted to do. What we're effectively creating here is a template. So have a better template <laughs> and uh, we can apply the same idea to that. And what we're getting is roughly, yeah, you know, it's the start of a project plan.